Coconut shells used to be considered agricultural waste, but today they're processed into biofuel for the barbecue. In countries like Thailand, companies convert the shells into briquettes that burn cleanly for an extended period. Throwing away these shells would be a real waste of energy. Instead of ending up as landfill, coconut shells are being used to fire the grill. Processed into briquettes that burn virtually smoke-free, the shells are now considered a resource instead of garbage. Converting coconut shells to charcoal starts with a partial combustion process. Inside these brick igloo-style kilns, they create a burning environment that allows the shells to be carbonized, but doesn't reduce them to ash. The kilns are partially underground. The surrounding soil helps to seal the fire. This keeps the air levels down for a slow, smoldering burn. A worker bricks up the kiln door, and he seals these bricks with mud instead of cement. This will allow the door to be dismantled later without ruining the bricks, preserving them for reuse in the next burn. From the top, he ignites the fire using soft wax as starter material. Because of the limited air in the kilns, the fire burns out after 20 to 24 hours. A worker takes the door apart and rakes the charred remains of the coconut shells into a basket. They have been converted into a rich charcoal. He heaps the blackened shells into a pile. And under the intense sun, moisture from water used to extinguish any hot spots evaporates. The charcoal dries out and breaks easily. It's now ready to be processed into briquettes. Workers load the charcoal pieces into grinders. This is dirty work, so they protect their faces with scarves and their hands with gloves. Inside the grinding machines, rollers pulverize the charcoal, reducing it to a fine powder. The powder flows into bins below. A worker then transfers the charcoal powder to a mixer. He adds a generous amount of starch made from the root of the cassava tree. Together with water, the starch will bond the charcoal particles together like glue. The mixer whisks it all together like pastry. The consistency is right when the particles form clumps when pressed together. The moistened blend exits the mixer and spills into a bin. This coconut shell charcoal is now ready to be pressed into briquettes. The next worker loads the charcoal into a press. It forces the tacky black powder through a die to press it into a perpetual hexagon with a hole in the center. As the machine extrudes the charcoal, a worker chops it into briquettes that are just over three inches in length. These coconut charcoal briquettes have now taken shape, but they're not yet ready for the grill. They're soft and mushy to the touch and crumble easily. To firm them up, they place them in structures with open fires in the center. They close the doors and leave the briquettes to bake over a period of about 24 hours. The heat fuses the charcoal particles together and the briquettes harden. Out of the curing chamber, this briquette is solid to the touch and clean too. It leaves no sooty residue. From coconut shells to barbecue briquettes, it's been quite a transformation. This coconut shell charcoal is now ready to sizzle.